If you deliver mail as your occupation and you happen to stumble upon a mailbox full of zucchinis, no need to be alarmed as that is just evidence of denial of the inevitable by one Jamaican lady who has absolutely no idea the zucchini onslaught that is about to come her way. Hi mom, love you. With that being said, Welcome to zucchini season. Today's recipe is a delightful balance between sweet and chipotle spicy. And it's also incredibly easy while coming together in 15 minutes or less. I can't help say that line without thinking about car insurance or imagining a small lizard on the table that I would have so many questions for. We're starting this recipe off with a little oil in the skillet and some broccoli. Not just the florets, we're getting the stems in there too. And if you cut them small enough, it could have the same cook time as your florette window. Also, if you're oil free, you can start this off with a little vegetable stock. So our goal in cooking the broccoli is to get a little bit of char on there, a little bit of caramelization, and to keep a little bit of that snap within the texture. So let's break that down. The char is gonna help with a bit of that smoky flavor. Caramelization for the sweetness, and the snap, it's gonna give that burrito a good mouthfeel, as the cooperative textures are mostly gonna be on the soft side. All this diversity is gonna be accomplished by using medium to high heat. Just minutes later, we're adding in specialized, hand-picked, beautiful, express delivered by our sons, zucchinis. Right, mom? followed by our onions and some seasoning. Take notice that we removed this from the heat prior to adding in our fresh basil. Fresh basil, when cooked, doesn't have the same impact as eating it straight up. And we're going for that fresh basil taste. You know, like when you get it on top of a pizza at the end of cooking. It just plays such a good role with balancing that char from the crust and tomato acidity. I, I might add tomatoes in here in the written version. That's what we want as we're adding in our acidity at the end with the sauce. Fresh cherry tomatoes will definitely be making the final cut. If you're not a fan of spice, you can derive most of that chipotle flavor within the adobo sauce without the spice. Say you have your household where a few members are on team, I want to melt my face off, spicy. And the other members are on team, but no, I don't want that. You can simply split the sauce in half. Add only adobo sauce to one and add adobo and the pepper to the other. The other ingredients in there, such as apple cider vinegar, could be swapped for like rice or red wine vinegar. The maple syrup could also be subbed out for like agave or coconut sugar or cane sugar. If I had to do another one, I would probably go more brown sugar, but that maple taste, I just wanna say Canada, I get it. Get really creative with this one. Swap out the tortilla wrap, add extra ingredients into the main ingredients, or even switch up the seasonings a bit. I was gonna add garlic, but I figured I would give some of, you know, my vampires a break. But between you and I, add garlic. <laughs> Don't forget to check out my socials and my membership program. If you would like to join through mobile, here's how you do it. Open up your web browser, not YouTube app, and go to youtube.com. In your browser's search box, there will be double A's listed in the left corner. Click on that and choose request desktop website. Your YouTube page will look very different. Now in the YouTube search, pull up my profile and scroll here to hit join. This full recipe can be found at my website, makeadairyfree.com or click the link in the description. Until next time, believe in good, peace.